In this video, I drill a laptop, I open a laptop, and I stick down a keyboard. This £2 laptop has an Intel Celeron. plan for this thing is we're going to see how well it can run games and, well, if it even is usable. So first of all, we're going to clean it because it's extremely greasy and spray a bunch of this soapy water on it. Uh, we might as well use a sponge. Should we use the soft side? No, let's use this side. Might as well scratch into the plastic. Yeah, look. I don't know if you can see it. It's all brown. Uh, might as well clean all the gunk off the sides. Bosh, look at that. That's, that actually looks all right. That is just full of creep. You might as well just spray directly onto it. Don't think it'll make a difference. For the screen, we'll use the back bit. Oh, bloody hell, the screen's broke. Oh, well, you know what? It only costs two quid. Yeah, the, that screen is absolutely... As, as long as it's just down here, we, sh we should be fine. Yeah, let's just scrub all this keyboard now. That'll do for now. Let's flip this thing. At oh, hello. Look at all that. We might as well squirt some. If it goes in the ports, it goes in the ports. By the way, I wouldn't recommend cleaning your normal laptops like this, but if you have one this dirty and cheap, you might as well do it. There we go. Right, there's still a couple of bubbles in there, but that don't matter. So this thing didn't come with a power cable, so we're going to have to, well, try and use this multi-purpose one. Oh, what's it? Wait, is it... Right, it looks like it's just a fan duct, which I don't know why they've taken a chunk out of it, but do I have something that will fit in here? I don't think I have. Oh, we'll see what that does, but I don't know if it's going to charge it. Is it charging? Of course it isn't. Again, we have the cheapest tool set thing. This cost me like, I think it was like two, two or three pounds. And to be fair, it's, it's not actually that bad. Actually, you know what? I don't really like the feel of this screwdriver. I'll switch it with this one. This thing also comes with a magnetizer, which is quite handy. I don't know how it works. Doesn't seem to be working well. Oh, all right. Well, don't know how many screws is holding in this back plate, but it's mostly full of washing up liquid. We'll get all these out with a magnet. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's just pry up and see what happens. Last time when I did my one, it didn't really want to come off. I had to use a screwdriver and pry it up, but this one looks like it's been off before. All right, yeah, someone's definitely water damage this look at that oh it has no hard drive oh that they better not have taken the ram out of this i only want the ram look how small the computer is this is all the computer no we can make a mini enclosure for this i mean i know it's an intel celeron and it's no good but we might as well do something with it there's a bunch of rust on this this screen connector can come off oh there's no ram in it what's the Oh, this is literally how big the whole computer is. We can make a cardboard computer. Look at that heatsink. That is a terrible heatsink. All right, so the reason this thing wasn't charging, I don't know if you can see it, but someone's snipped the cable for some reason. What, why would you? You know what? It doesn't matter because this means it could still be working. I haven't really got anything to connect to. Why, why would you snip this off? What's the... Probably so no one else can use it, but um. I'm, I'm not sure about the reason. Right, so what we can do now is we can pretty much set this off to one side. Should we shove some in there and see what happens? One has to be positive and negative, right? I heard a popping noise. I don't know if it's gone bang or if it's... It might have went bang. You know what, we can always connect up to this, right? So positive is in there, I think. Unless we can see if we can remove the connector off this one and plug it in that one. You know what, let's do that. Pretty much just unscrew every single screw you see. I think we should put the RAM in. Actually, I might just need RAM, because it's not going to run without that, is it? Let's put some RAM in and see what happens. There we go, right, your RAM's in, two gigabytes. Oh, do you know what else we could do? We could plug it directly into this, but that's probably going to blow it up. All right, so positive in there, and then negative should be... You know what, we might as well take the CPU out and see what it has. Look at that. That's not even thermal paste on there. What is this? Oh my god, the person who put this on, they forgot to peel... The thermal paste sticker. So it's been running on... Ah, uh, well, that's probably why it went wrong. Yeah, that is crusty. That's must, that must have been running like that for years. We'll shove that off to one side. <laughs> There's no thermal paste on that. Don't know if that's the manufacturer's fault or if someone tried to install a, another cooler on it. Yeah, so the CPU might be fried. Do you reckon this will fit in that ThinkPad? But for now, we'll leave this in here. Throw this to one side. And now let's see if we can move this charging port. Where's this CD drive? There you go. Throw that off. I'm hoping it has the same connector because... Yeah, I think it does. It's got the same loop as the other one did. Where is it? Yeah, so this should just be a straight pull out and then plug in. Slightly different, but the pins positive and negative are the wrong way around. You know what? We'll plug it in upside down and see what happens. This thing might just blow up, but we'll have a look. All right, nothing's happened so far. Should we try and turn it on? I'm assuming to press the power button with no keyboard, we have to ground this somewhere. We'll put it on there and then just... No? I'll just put it straight on the ground there. All right, you know what? 
let's pull this back into the laptop. Actually, we don't even have to do that. Let's plug in the keyboard, because um, we can see if them lights turn on or not. Plug this one in. Why don't we just flip? There we go. This is easier. Plug this in. And then we'll put this one in. And now we can spin it round. Plug this in. Oh, fan spinning. Look at that. Blue light. All right, we've done something. Let's turn this off. Let's unplug it. Let's rip the battery out of here. Screen's broke anyway, so... Oh, all right, I think I broke some clip. Don't know if you heard that. You go in there. Uh, should, we let, should we let the battery charge up a bit? Yep, all right, battery charging lights on. We can screw the board directly to the keyboard. We don't even... Oh, that, that is re that's quite hot, the CPU. Let's put one screw in. Yeah, there we go, look at that. Yeah, there you go. Now my other board's held in. Should we replace the thermal paste or thermal pads? We might as well have a look whilst it's charging. Oh, thermal paste looks quite good, actually. This is a terrible heatsink. Should we see if... It's not even copper, it's just a bit of metal. How does this even wipe this thermal cream off? Now let's slap on the cheapest thermal paste possible. This cost me one pound. Oh my god, why is it so watery? What's happened? You know what? Matter, it is too much. It's a Celeron. So, now let's put some screws in. If you see one of these computers, do not get one. Bill, why is it so hot? Why is... It's not even on, is it? It's, it probably turned itself on, to be fair. See if it turns on, although it might not anymore. Let's put the battery in first. Now let's put this keyboard in. See if it turns on. Orange light's on. Yeah, all right, blue light's on. Fan's spinning. All we can do now is plug in this HDMI cable and the monitor and see if it posts. All right, monitor's on. Let's plug this thing in. I'm hoping it recognizes it. Come on, HDMI. No signal. The fan is just spinning, so we probably is short-circuited on something. Should we just plug the screen in and see what happens? Let's do that. Nope, all right, no signal. Let's just, yeah, all right, let's, let's just not bother with this monitor. Turn you off. And now let's pretty much put everything back in here. All right, so now we've put this thing back, we're just gonna shove this motherboard back in. Let's make sure everything's connected first. Should be all right. And then we can plug in the display. I think it went in that way. Now we're gonna try and turn it on without the keyboard because you don't really need one. So let's first connect this battery so we can get at least some power to it. Uh, did it go here? I don't remember where the battery went. I think it went this way around. Did it? I don't know. All right, we got that in. We're gonna shove the charger in. Light turns on. And now we just need to get a cable, ground it on something, and then just run it across. You know what, let's just plug the keyboard in and turn it on. Oh, this is going to be a right pain. No, it came out. Great. There we go. Right, keyboard is in. Uh, we don't need the other cable. Uh, let's plug the power in and turn it on. Nope. All right, let's try that again. Fan spinning. Is it going to post? Don't know if you can hear that. Come on. You know what, we're going to leave it charged for a while and, well, we'll be right back. All right, so now that we've tried to test it, and, well, it doesn't really work, let's just screw all this back together, and then, well, get it ready for the e-waste pile. I am going to keep this, even though I'm probably not going to use it. Uh, do we need to put all the screws in? To be honest, I don't remember which screws went where, so we're just going to guess. This is a small one. So I think there's a motherboard issue with this thing. Let me toss this out. By the looks of this, I'm guessing the keyboard is a bit damaged. We'll, ju we'll just slap it on. Look at how much empty space is in there. Right, we might as well connect these. You know what, let's just clip all this on. There we go. That'll do. Flip it over, and then just pull the screws in. All right, yeah, so to be fair, that didn't really do anything. All right, let's push this off to one side, pull out this ThinkPad, and let's see if the CPU from this £2 computer can fit in this £2 ThinkPad. This is socketed, but I don't know what socket type it is, so let's just undo all those screws we can see, and then see if it lifts off. Bosh, look at that, slides out. Now let's flip this over. Should we just pry the keyboard out? I don't really remember. Oh yeah, I think I forced it in last time. Now we can undo some more screws. How's this come off? Don't remember. Oh, there we go. Oh, I missed a screw. There's one under here. There's two under there. Oh, they're really loose. Why they? I didn't really take this off last video, so I don't really know. Uh, I think it's a different socket. Oh, actually. Oh yeah, that thermal paste is crusty though. Is it a different socket? Does look like it's been replaced. 2013. We'll 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 have a look. Let's get a flathead. Should we pry it up? Oh, there we go. I I don't know. There might be this. Hmm. 
Well, these two aren't going in. What will happen if I put it in? All right, yeah, so that CPU ain't fitting in this one. Actually, before we do that, we should probably clean up this fan. So it's just had a quick rinse under the tap. There we go. Now we can install this cheap stuff, which has a load of water in it for some reason. And then tighten these screws. They're not numbered, so... Oh, wait, yeah, they are. So now that's in... Wait, this is four gigabytes of RAM, into it? How much are you? Actually, what we can do now is we can finally fit this CD drive in. Because we did that a bit wrong last time. You don't need one of these, but you might as well put it in. All right, CD drive is in. I think this is a microphone, so we might as well... <laughs> Should we place it in here? You know what? That'll do. We'll just force it on. We'll shove the mic in there. That'll... that'll um actually should we put this webcam underneath this plastic thing or should we just leave it on top let's leave it on top oh we do need to make a, a small incision that this wire can go through though so i want this wire to be fed under here so we do need to make a small incision into the housing oh what's stuck oh there's a wire stuck there all right we can't remove it and to do that we're going to use this knife does it cut oh yes it does i could have used a dremel but let's feed this through here then into this groove. But let's just clip it down and hope it's in the right place. Is there anything in the way? No idea. I think there is something in the way, but we're gonna carry on. You know what? <laughs> if it screws on, it doesn't matter. So I've put all the screws in and... Wait, no, I haven't. Missing silver one here. Where did this go? You know what? I'm being more efficient. With more screws left over, it means I've done a better job than Lenovo at assembling it. Didn't even need that screw. There we go, that'll do. And now we can put this keyboard on. Should we just drill this whole thing out? Oh god, let's make this, let's just, there we go, that'll do. I mean, we've drilled a hole into it, we might as well. Hopefully I didn't hit any cables. I think I might have hit a cable. Oh well, we'll see if it turns on. The keyboard won't go in. What if we just drill a hole through the keyboard? That might work. Where is it? There. Let's just mark out where we need to drill. Well, what can we drill on top of? Alright, it's about there, I think. Oh god, come on. That'll do. Oh, I hope I haven't broke the screen. Oh no. Well, that's unfortunate. Anyways. All right, so now let's see if we can get this keyboard in place. This does have quite a lot of tension on it. Can we pull it? There we go. Um, as long as that stays there, we should be all right, maybe. What if we just pry it up? Oh, hang on. That, that might have done something. Wait, why, why didn't we? Yeah, why didn't we just tuck all that in? Oh yes, look at that. All right, that's in. Slide that down. Come on. You're going to slide down? Might have to pry it from this side a bit. There we go. Look at that. And now we can just shove that there. Oh, the keyboard's falling out. Don't worry. I've got a better idea. We're going to use this. We should put it there or there. Let's... Oh, I see. The CMOS battery was in the way. That's probably why it didn't slide down. Should we try and slide it down anyway? We might as well try. That will slide down now, but uh, we sort of taped it. So, All right. So now that that's on, there you go. That's not coming off. We can now... We'll leave that there. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that stuff. So we'll see you next week. Transition.